When I first started the gym, I quite honestly had no clue what I was doing. I was watching TikToks and YouTube videos, trying to figure out how to work out what form should look like, what kind of weight I should be looking at, what shoes I should be wearing. And honestly, I got all in my head about how to do everything. I spent the majority of my workouts trying to figure out how to use new machines, doing movements that weren't actually targeting any muscles in really bad form. Luckily for me, I was training at 4am before I had work right when the gym first opened so there was barely anyone around no one to witness these mistakes but I do have video evidence so I decided to show you the video evidence of me making these mistakes so that when you're thinking about joining the gym and you're worried about making yourself look like a fool or whatever trust me we've all done it we've all been there and I 100% do look like a fool in the majority of these clips. Since I have been going a lot longer I've been watching more advice from physical trainers things like that on youtube because i have had to look a lot online about help for working out and how to structure those but i have done a lot of research and i think i finally found a workout that works for me and i have seen a lot of improvements in my strength training my form and my confidence in the gym and now i feel like i'm ready to properly formulate my routine I go to the gym group which is a commercial gym in the UK and I have the membership for all of the gyms so I go to a wide range of gym groups and I do love their equipment, especially mine because it is a recently built gym so it's all new and fresh. <sighs> okay guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is about my gym routine and how I'm building the best workout routine that best suits my lifestyle. Now, in a few weeks, I'll have a video coming out about my scheduling and how I distribute my time. But this video will be just about my gym routine, what I do to improve my health and fitness. Because honestly, I just want to build my flexibility. I want to build my strength. I want to be someone who's confident in their body. And when somebody is at work and goes, grab somebody to move the glass bin, I'll be like, trust me, I can move the glass bin. I'm strong. And I know that sounds really cheesy. And I know that sounds really stupid. But honestly, I just want to be see if someone's strong enough to do something. Like, my other job, when they go, can we move these mattresses? I'll be like, yeah, I can, because I can move a mattress. Because even though they're really heavy, I can do it because I'm strong. And that's all I care about. And I know that sounds stupid, but it is. I also care about, like, obviously, like, the gains. Like, I like being able to see my muscles, and I like being able to tense and go, ooh, they're there. That's what I want. There's a lot of things that I want from the gym. And the gym, mostly, all I want is to be happy. I did just spend 20 minutes looking around the house trying to find some snacks and I've stolen this baby bell. So, sorry my family who are watching this, but I'm eating your food. <laughs> but, I'm glad I'm hungry. I make my pre-workout before any leg day, so I put about 150ml of water on one scoop of pre-workout. So, I'm about to film a different video at the same time. I was going to taste test my pre, because I'm going to film my video while I take my pre because pre is about take this about half an hour before I work out normally it's about a five minute walk to the gym so I've got the fruit punch I think it is and it has like a bit of a tang sometimes and sometimes I'm like oh but I don't mind it could be worse I'm gonna try a different flavor next time I buy pre but it's quite expensive it was like 22 pounds for that bottle but it has a lot of servings and it does make the gym better for me so I'll think about it not awful could be worse I did not film the whole of the leg day because I was struggling to film in the gym. I really lack confidence while filming. I did RDLs as my first exercise I always do, which are Romanian deadlifts. I did these with 70. I then went up to 80 for a PR of 80 for four. I then did hip thrust, which I didn't film because filming hip thrust is so awkward. Leg press. Now, this is a very weird day for me because it was a lot harder than normal. I had glute hyperextensions as well, which I'm still trying to perfect my form, but I definitely feel these a lot in the glutes. I also had glute kickbacks as well, but didn't film that either. And I tend to do leg extension as well on leg days like this, just because I want to get a bit more of a quad focused. I then got a mango protein yogurt from Asda on the way home. Oh my god. So I was sat down and I was like, oh, I have a video to edit on the train on the way home. And I was like, oh wait, I forgot to film the rest of the video. So, here I am. This sun is probably going to annoy you, but it's not really going to annoy me, so you're going to have to suck it up. So, basically, one of the things that I thought was really important for me and my gym and getting getting things sorted is forming a, a gym routine that I can stick to. 
So my biggest issue with that is the fact that every single week is different, which is why I don't tend to stick to one specific routine and I can't really go, okay, I'll have a five day routine or a three day routine or a four day routine. So I plan everything three weeks in advance and it looks like my shifts at both my jobs have kind of leveled out to what they will be consistently. So basically that means I'll have a four day gym schedule and currently I have a five day routine and I am like, ah, I'm going to have to change that. So I'm going to swap my five day routine to a four day routine. So I want to prioritize two lower body days and two upper body days, mostly so I can get all the main muscle groups covered. And I'm going to prioritize the exercises that I enjoy and ones that I find better in general. So the ones that I do more often basically. Things like Romanian deadlifts are one of my favorite exercises to do and I really want to progress in those so I will prioritize including those in my routine. Things like hip thrust as well and lat pull downs and bench press are my favorite exercises so I'm going to keep including those. So I have taken out my core and cardio days because I don't do those. <laughs> Probably should but I don't. And I'm left with five days three lower body and two upper body so the upper body days can probably remain fairly consistent with bench press tricep extension lap pull down seated rows bicep curls and shoulder press seem good um and then my other upper body day is basically the exact same so i'm going to edit that because i won't be able to do all of those so something i have started recently doing is lateral raises so i'll include those da -da -da. Um, an assisted pull-up would be a good one because I am trying to work on my pull-ups and achieving one. So assisted pull-up is a good workout that I would want to include. Muscles that I definitely want to focus on are my chest muscles as well. So I might include chest fly because I don't have too many chest exercises. So you've got lat raises. I do it with the cable. Um, I don't tend to train biceps that much because I do biceps with my back exercises um, which is why I've included bicep curl because I realise I don't actually train for my biceps at all so I've had to start including that, start training those. Triceps I really enjoy working out um, and I'd love to be able to do dips, so maybe a tricep dip assisted, it would be cool if I could start doing tricep dips. What other movements? Um, shoulders, um, not so much. Triceps, back. what other? Oh, forearms, I don't do forearms. So I could practice my pronation and supination. It's just something I don't tend to do very often. Um, I'll just do a forearm exercise. So do something forearmy because I need to develop my grip strength and it'll help improve my other movements like my lateral pull downs, um, my lat pull downs. I can't really do those because my grip strength is really weak so my back might be stronger than my grip strength which is what I'm trying to work on and I'll probably do a bit of diverging lat pull down because I enjoy that one and I think it does work my back a little bit differently. Now moving on to the lower body days. Currently I have three I want to focus on doing two so remaining deadlifts are essential we I, I need them in my life. Remaining deadlifts, hip thrusts and leg press like the three that I love to train they are movements that I just find I'm more comfortable doing and I'm progressing well in and I just want to keep seeing that so we keep doing those I want to start looking at including more leg extensions to help prioritize my quad growth because my quads I want to make them stronger I want them strong I don't tend to do many squats which I think is quite an issue so I'm going to start including squats in one of the days um, I'm not sure if it's going to be barbell squats or dumbbell squats or what, but I am going to work on those. Something that I don't tend to do that much is hamstring exercises other than my Romanian deadlifts. So a, a leg curl is something I kind of should start including. We have a seated and a lying leg curl machine at my gym now, so hopefully I'll be able to switch between whichever two I want. Um, for my glutes, I do prioritise glute training. That is just something that I enjoy. So glute kickbacks, glute hyperextensions, those sort of movements are something I will be doing quite often. So that's four exercises per day. If I want to split them up, I could do split squats. I tend not to do those very often and I don't really like the movement, which is why I don't do it. It's one of those that is good for glute growth. So I could start including that. It's something I should probably be doing. Um, and then my adductors and abductors, I don't tend to train those in any other form, so I'll include those too. And then maybe a calf, a calf exercise wouldn't be bad. 
put calf press. So calf press, abductors and adductors. I tend, the machines are right next to each other, so I tend to superset them because that's why I can put like seven exercises on one day and five on the other, because I tend to superset my other movements. So ignoring everything behind me and the whole disaster that is occurring, <laughs> most of it is my mess, if I'm being honest. I just wanted to talk you through a little bit of the things I take to the gym and why. So obviously everyone's different. My gym bag isn't currently with me because I didn't bring it home. I don't have enough hands to take everything back on the train. So I just bought the stuff that I need from my gym bag. <laughs> so I've got the priorities are, in my humble opinion, because I have only been going to the gym a year and I'm not honestly that, that fit. Um, there are things that I take to the gym that are most important, like my lock, because honestly, I used to leave my stuff in a locker without a lock and then I realised I can't really take my whole uni bag to the gym and not lock it in the thing. I also got this amazing shaker from Aldi, mostly because it has this little compartment at the bottom, which if I unscrew it, I promise you, it looks sus, but it's not. It's just my protein powder. So I put my protein powder in the bottom of it and I always have at least a serving in there. I don't know if it's orange and mango or peach tea because I have two proteins. I don't know which one's in there right now. I just find out when I make it. But it has a little, it's a little ball inside and it's a really good shaker because I will drink my pre from it. Then I'll wash it at the gym, just very quickly wash it out. And then I'll use it for the water at the gym because it's plastic. So at least it's like easy to use. And then at the end of the gym, I'll fill it up with water to like, it has some measuring things on the side. Fill it wherever I want, put the protein powder in and have my protein shake. It's like all three things I need it to do, it does. And I, I love it. It was like one pound. I have a metal shaker as well, which I do prefer to use for my protein shakes. But it's just one of those where this one is more convenient for everyday use. My metal one I use for like a morning protein shake or like if I'm taking my protein when I get home from the gym because I got to, forgot to fill this up. But my metal one is better, I do prefer that. <laughs> Something else that I didn't really think I needed at first when I started at the gym is my lifting straps. I was like, oh, I'm not strong enough, I'm not strong enough. Yeah, no, my grip strength isn't strong enough. My legs are strong enough. So I started using these, which you will see in my, um, one of my video, um, like one of the bits of the video, because I use these on leg day religiously, like for my RDLs, my deadlifts, I need these because my grip strength is almost non-existent. Like I cannot hold 80 kilograms, I'm sorry, but I can RDL it. So lifting straps, amazing. Um, if I get chance, I will show you a video of how I use them, but I did have to TikTok it and I literally just, you put them in and you wrap the bar, like it's, I'd say watch a YouTube short because it's way quicker. Um, I also got this, which is an ankle strap. I only got one because I was like, I don't want to pay £3 for two. And I'm kind of regretting that decision every time that I take off my ankle and put it on the other one. But it is useful and it was cheap and it is camo grey. It is, it's cute. Like, can't go wrong. Recently, I got a barbell pad. If you watch some of my earlier clips, I have been hip thrusting with like a, one of their mats folded a bunch. I used this for the first time the other day and I was like, oh my God. It didn't hurt at all. I didn't have any bruises. I was like, oh, what have I been doing? What have I been doing with my life? Because honestly, I was coming home with bruises from hip thrusts all the time. Use this once. I lifted 120, which is my heaviest at the minute. I'm not great on hip thrusts. And I had no bruises and no pain. I was like, this, this is a godsend. So I would highly recommend getting this. I don't know where it came from because um, it was a gift, but get a barbell pad, get a barbell pad. Something else I absolutely rely on on leg day is pre-workout. I don't take it on upper body days because I don't need it the same, but leg days, I need my pre-workout. I don't know what it is. It's just leg days hit different when I'm on pre. Upper body days don't really change. So I only take this on leg days because I don't like having too much caffeine constantly because then I don't sleep. And then I have headphones. I am one of those who, I, I like the idea of AirPods. So I probably will get AirPods. At some point I've used other people's AirPods in the past. But I lose everything, and I mean everything. I literally bought an Apple Watch so I could have the little function where you swipe up and you press the ring phone button so that when I put my phone down and forget where it is, I can find it. Yeah, my brain is like that. Um, but headphones, these are the Beats Solo 3. I got them on a whim when I failed because I was like, I'm spending money when I failed. It was either this or a new laptop. This was way cheaper. And I didn't need a new laptop. I needed new headphones because I didn't have any. So these are amazing. I got the pink ones because I just wanted to be a bit different and I wanted to feel like a girl for once. But they are amazing. They work so well. The battery charge on them is 
insane compared to like my old bluetooth headphones like my old bluetooth headphones would have to be on charge while i was watching lectures like halfway through the day because they died these last like five six days like they're amazing and headphones at the gym I just a must i just a must like i just need some stimulation in between sets in sports bras they have like removable pads like these i keep about four spare ones in my gym bag like two of the circular ones or two of these like triangular ones so if i ever get to the gym and i pull my sports bra out and it's like they've fallen out in the wash i have spare ones because i hate having i hate having bras without at least like a level of padding like something to just put a barrier between me and the outside world and I know the sports bra fabric does that, but not as well as the little like triangle. That's all I care about. And I know that sounds really stupid, but I think I think some of my gym girls will get that. I also tend to keep at least one set of gym clothes in my bag, like a sports bra, like one of these ones. Bow and T is actually my favorite for sports clothes at the minute, and you'll see why. But bow and T, I keep a sports bra and then a shorts in the bag at all times because at least if the shorts are in there, then I have a set. Um, something else I keep in my gym bag, I have deodorant. This is like a Sony Charles protection. It's a women's one, but it smells like men's deodorant, which I think is nice because their stuff tends to be stronger and better anyway. So I keep this one. I also keep like a body spray. And then in my uni bag, I do the same thing where I have a, de a deodorant that's probably a man's deodorant and then like a body spray because I just have them everywhere. I need them everywhere. I also have, I don't think I actually have it with me, which is really sad. But I have like a hair clip, you know, like the claw clips. I keep two of those in my gym bag, two in my uni bag normally at the minute they're out around this place somewhere um, and like three or four at home because it's always useful to have a claw clip because say if my hair is fine, like it doesn't need washing, I have like my plaits in here down which you've seen in most of my videos. When I'm at the gym I can't have it fully down most of the time so I will then like grow it, twist it and claw clip it up and just leave it and it works amazing but 99% of the time I have got my hair in plaits because it's just easier, it's out of the way and I don't look stupid. So I wanted this chat a bit at the end to be a bit more like one on one and a bit more open close and personal which is why I'm like right in front of your face. So I just wanted to say watching this video and looking at it, it may seem like I know what I'm doing, but obviously I'm not trained, I'm not a professional. This is just stuff I've learned, stuff that I can do, stuff that I'm comfortable doing and what has made me stronger overall. I love the gym, it's something I'm passionate about, but obviously I'm not a PT. I do take advice from PTs, but I am not a PT. So take everything that I say with a pinch of salt, just if this is me sharing my journey and how I'm changing my workout routine. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of gym clothes. I spend a lot of money on gym clothes. I was going to show you like all of them. Realized it was gonna take a long time in this video and I'm not entirely confident showing that much of my body on the internet. Um, I will be doing lots of videos in the future like vlogs and stuff where you'll see me going to the gym. I'll try and include more of my workouts in those videos. So if you see my vlogs, there will be my workouts included in those. I love going to the gym and I love working out and I hope that you watch this video you've got a little bit of an insight into what my workout routine is like at the minute obviously things change and my situation is different every week like this week i'm working 100 hours so i'm only going to the gym twice one leg day and one upper body day but i am making sure that i'm still getting physical exercise at both of my jobs make sure i stay active and not just sit down all day but i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will have more videos coming out soon for this series it's just taking a lot like it takes a long time to develop your life and improve and get more comfortable with yourself and it's a journey that i'm taking you on with me obviously it's going to take some time so i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions just put them in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching